I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My comb. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. Stay here. It must be around here somewhere. in this go my eyes <laughs> too cold my blood freezes I'll be the one to find it just you wait and see it must be around here somewhere. I'll be the one to find it. Oh, Just you wait and see. Deadly cold. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You're different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened. Decorated and delicate. Delicate? The others, they are like clubs, blunt and ungainly. You are nimble, like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or vikinger will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But, am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. <laughs> Any good tales come of this? Once, I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense. And my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm. Delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb. As a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. 
You tamed some nuts I haven't been able to reach myself. a proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. Away from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrook named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. And now, now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, Writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. So, together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true Drenger, when you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory. For the wandering Drengir do I raise my blade. You are a true drinker. 
Рагнеру с властью! end to honorable warring. Now I go to see my brother. He who laughed at death. Scourge of all England. Ragnar Lothbrook. Farewell, Dringer. Listen for hoofbeats. And follow the Valkyries home. <laughs>